Hello, welcome to Shaw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we have Psalms 136.1. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. So just being thankful for what I've got and what's um, being provided to me. Trying to live a pure heart. You know how that goes. Um, but yeah. All right. So totally hooked. I have nothing. Um, in the basket, I do still have the same three uh, items. Now, I didn't bring two of them to show you because they're in the other room. So the shrug that's going to be striped, I have not worked on it at all. I don't even know that I looked at it. So I didn't even contemplate working on it. I am contemplating ripping it out and making a different kind of shrug. Just saying. Um, then, well, oh, excuse me. It is morning time and... I'm still working on coffee. Uh, I have the uh, Round the World inspired one. I think I've made maybe three more little squares. So, not a whole lot. My go-to that I've been picking up here lately is this one. And this one, I am on the round that goes all the way around. It's the first round that isn't split by color. Okay. So. I'm trying to keep from pulling out stitches. Because these are definitely little stitches. Okay. So. Here's the spring side. And as you can see right down here. Here's the wrong side. Right here, a little bit is where I've left off. I have this little bit right here to go to finish off this row. Um, here is the fall side. So, yeah, and once I get done with this row right here, okay, this is what I'm calling the solid row. Then I will start these rows, and that should finish out the, um, that's, I'm just going to make it open like that. Then, uh, I've thought about, and I don't know if I have enough, every once in a while, say, five rows in, having those to go back and do a colored one. I don't have a lot of yarn left on a lot of these, so I don't know if I'll have enough to do a colored row. When I get to the gold, I think, yeah, the gold is the one I have the least of, so I might try it with this one, and then if I don't have enough to do a whole row, rip it out and then not. But other than that, I don't know if I'm going to put pops of color in there or not. So, but it is what it is, and it's coming along nicely. Um, so, yeah, it is. <laughs> all right. So that's really all I've been working on. I'm trying to get into a routine with work. Oh, sorry for the yawns. Um, in the pots, I don't have anything. On the wheel, I did think about bringing out my spinning, and I haven't. Um, okay, in the fields, I do have a clip of the garden, and I will put that in right here. Alright, so I'm out here at the garden, and the tomato plants, I don't know, they, they just look horrible, but they do have some fruit on them. Um, this one's got a little one over here, that one's got those, there's three or four over here. I think they're ate up with bugs, so I'm going to... Unfortunately, gonna have to get some seven dust and put on them. These are the peppers, and of course, they have fruit. Every plant has fruit, you know, at least one or two. The cucumbers have a bunch of flowers, and 
little starts of cucumbers. I don't know if you can see that. So, looks like we're going to have an abundance of cucumbers. The okra is just growing. I, I don't know. I'm not an okra person, so that's roommates. And then we've got the zucchini, which something got our first one. But there is another one right down in there. I don't know if you can see that. It's hard to video with. Now, oh, there's two or three right there. So, yeah. We have those. And I think for the most part, it's doing okay. The I think the grasshoppers are what's getting the tomatoes. And they just look horrible. So, I'm going to see what I can do about these guys. Um... I have to water morning and night so yeah we'll see it's my little garden and we'll see what it produces okay so I do think that some sort I, I want to say it's the grasshoppers when I water tons of grasshoppers just get out of the garden so I'm thinking that I need to seven dust the gar the at least the tomatoes I don't know so I'm gonna pick up some seven dust today and see if that helps keep the grasshoppers in that away. And I'm just going to seven dust that whole strip that's got my two rows on it. We'll go from there. I don't like using chemical, but I don't know how else to save my tomato plants. They're looking pretty bad, as you saw. So, yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> that's not a good thing. Um, let's see. What else? Uh, RJ World. Um, basically this time of year, he is riding horses, roping, riding horses, roping. He gets up super early in the cool of the morning and he rides the horses because it's easier on the horses. Um, then in the heat of the day, he'll go in and take a nap or try and get some sleep. So he's all cattywampus, but it's for the good of the horses. He doesn't try to train when it's a hundred degrees outside. Um, so basically he's uh, riding horses and then, um, trying to take care of stuff and, um, uh, go to rodeos on the weekend. That's it. So he, it's just not a very exciting time for us. We have had like days, the heat index has been over a hundred 110. 100, it, it's just heat waves is what they're calling it. This is Oklahoma. We always have heat waves um, because we have the heat. So um, that's one of the reasons that I think the garden kind of looks burnt up is I've had to go to watering morning and night because it's so hot. So I don't know. It's Oklahoma. It is what it is. So but, yeah, he's adjusting his schedule for the heat, for the good of the horses. Um, I'm watering twice a day because of the heat. Um, it is what it is, you know. Um, in the farmhouse. So, there's not a whole lot going on in the farmhouse because of the heat, because of the new job. So, let me explain. Um, I get up in the morning and this is the schedule that I am trying to do. Okay. I can't say as always get it done. I have sinus strain, so y'all are going to have to forgive me. Um, in the morning I get up and I make sure I make my bed and clean up and I don't have to be to work till nine o'clock, actually five till nine. So I get the dishes done. I'll get some laundry started. Maybe um, I have found that doing just one load of my work clothes on the weekend works best for me. So, um, I don't really have a whole lot of laundry in the week. I try to do laundry once a week. Um, so yeah, I get up in the mornings. I am going to try and podcast at some point in the morning. Um, today I'm off for Juneteenth. It's a federal holiday, um, is what it is. So I get it off with pay, which I like. That's awesome. Uh, but I try to get up, do that. And then by the time I get home at night, 
I'll find something to eat, which today I've got to go to do grocery shopping. I haven't any grocery shopping because I was kind of on a limited, limited budget. Um, so, yeah, I, I've got a big list today. I'm scared to see that big bill, but it is what it is, and we have to have food. So, yeah, um, I'm going to go and do the grocery shopping. That way, in the evening when I come in, I find something to eat. Uh, by then, it's probably 7, 7.30. Uh, I'll go out and try and do the ducks. I prefer to do them in the morning, but I don't always have time, depending on what my chores are for the day. Uh, but I, I, I'm just learning to split my evening stuff. and my. I used to get off one time during the week for half day, and, or yeah, and I'd come in and do everything. Well, that doesn't work. So I've got a spot before I, I leave here at 8.30. I get up at 5.30. So, and it doesn't take me but 15 minutes to get ready for work. So I have about two hours in the morning to do stuff. And then I have about two hours at night to do stuff instead of having a lump four hours. So I'm learning to split some chores. I'm getting into a routine. Uh, dishes and beds are always done in the morning. Podcasts I try to do in the morning. Um, on the weekend, so I've had my first weekend off, and that is when I did the vacuuming and sweeping of the floors. And I only do it every other week because of Hitch freaking out with the vacuum. So, it is what it is. Uh, I go down and see the ducks at least once a day. If I have it in the morning, I'll do it at night. Um, but speaking of the ducks, I do have a clip of the ducks, and I will put them in. It's actually the pond because I did something kind of cool this weekend. So I want to show you the pond. Okay, so the three um, replacement ducks are doing really good. I like to come down and feed them. The morning is my favorite time to come down and feed them, but I really need to feed them in the evening and make sure that they're here, staying where they're supposed to be staying. So, um, yeah, but, and the pond is always teeming with life. There is fish jumping, ooh, bigger one over there jumping. There is crawdad over here, he's trying to make himself look big, um, yeah, <laughs> look at him, he's like, I'm this big, so, <laughs> um, the other thing is, is that, oh, there went a little fish. I don't know if you saw it, but you'll see little just jumps, and they're just little fish jumping up there. And go, Bloop. You see their silver underbellies, and they're just jumping and eat, trying to eat stuff off the top of the pond. Um, the other thing that I have down here, and I harvested yesterday is blackberries. Oh, and there's one right there. Mmm. They are yummy. There's another one that's almost ripe. Um, oh, there's one that is ripe. Oh, look, some of them are turning. So, I am going to harvest this. It goes up the tree. I'm going to harvest this every day. The ducks aren't eating them, so I'm really thankful for that. But, uh, yeah. Yesterday I got a little bit out, and I'm sure you'll hear about that in the podcast. Okay, so on my weekend, I went down to the pond, and there were some ripe blackberries down there. And my granny used to take and it I don't know where this came from or if it's well known but you can make three things with just fruit and sugar and you can do it all in the same pot just depending on the temperature that you make it so if you have 
half cup of, say, blueberries. Put a half cup of sugar, mash your blueberries, and um, I can't remember if you're supposed to mash your blueberries first and if you have a half cup of mashed blueberries, I think. I think that's it. Um, then you match the amount of sugar. So you mash your berries, figure out how much you've got, and that's the exact same amount of sugar that you put in the pan. And then you cook it. And according to my grandma, at 220 degrees is the... Uh, temperature that you need it. That will make jelly or jam. If you go lower, it won't set up and you'll have syrup. If you go higher, it will set up too quick and you'll have candy. So I've always done it, had done it with my grandma and it's just same amount of fruit, same amount of uh, sugar. So yesterday I tried my hand and I didn't have a digital thermometer or a candy thermometer. I had a meat thermometer, which goes up to 190. I thought, I can estimate it. No, you can't. <coughs> I ended up making candy for the first time yesterday, which is just the blackberries and the sugar. But I had really wanted to make some jam. And my grandma says it's the easiest thing in the world to do. She made it look easy. Can I make it look easy? I don't know. I will be trying it as I harvest that. And I want to pick up maybe some cherries and try it with cherries. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. But anyway, so I did try my hand at that. Made some candy. It was delicious candy. Um, I will tell you to prepare a, a spot for it just in case. But it, it is super simple. And I know that people say, oh, jelly and canning is hard. Granny didn't make it seem that way. And so it's like she always said equal parts of fruit to equal parts of sugar. And she'd have her jars ready. And that is all she put in her jelly. She didn't use any pectin and all this other stuff. And that was it. That was it. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime she had fruits like that, that's what she did. Equal parts of sugar she didn't do, you know, and she had her rings and her lids and her jars, and that's it. And she preferred to use the same size jar for um, all of her jellies. She never used the really tiny ones, I don't think. She always had the ones that were about, I think, a pint, and then she had the double ones for vegetables and stuff. I like her tomatoes and all that. <laughs> but, I don't know. She always made it um, look and seem really easy to can things. So Hopefully it will be. I made candy. <laughs> Hopefully next time I will make jam. But we'll see. So, all right. I think that really is all that's going on. Um, just trying to get into a new routine, keep everything done, which I did okay. And I actually really liked the job. So I'm, I'm doing okay with it. I think I still have some bills to juggle around. Um, I have to make a phone call today and find out where a certain check is because that's what I'd have it all juggled around if I did, if I had that check, but I don't have that check yet. can't figure out where it's at. It's Juneteenth, so I don't know that the post office is going to be um, delivering mail today. We'll see. I'm hoping that it gets here in the next two weeks. Hopefully this week would be great, but we'll see. So, all right. I'm going to get off of here. Y'all have a great week. Um, stay out of the heat and be safe, you guys. Thanks for watching.